Hey, what's up everybody? So today we got a pretty short and simple tutorial for you. It's uh, how to create a simple timer, counting up or down, whichever you, you want, whatever you choose. So the first thing we need to do, which is very important, we need to add the uh, using UnityEngine.UI, which is very important, and uh, it's so we can access the text component. If we don't do that, we cannot uh, code properly. It won't show up. And then we'll create a text UI object. And then we, uh, of course, need a public variable to hold our number, which will be a float. And get the text component start method and play test enjoy. There's a little bit more to it than that, obviously, but it's only about four or five lines of code, something like that. Not very much. So, anyways, let's um, let's get into it. So the first thing we need, of course, is create a C sharp script. We'll call it my timer. And also, we need a uh, object, game object, user interface, text, and we'll just call it um, text timer. And this will, of course, hold our timer. You can see just real quick that it shows up down here. And if we run it, we'll see what happens. It should just stay there, no big deal, whatever. Mr. Red's kind of angry. And then we go over to our my, my timer. We'll click on that. And so, as the note said, first we need a add using Uni Engine UI. And I'll show you why real quick. What happens if we don't do that? Um, we need a public text. You see, it's not coming up in the code hinting, and it's called uh, timer text. And it should pop up, but it doesn't because we're not using Unity Engine dot UI. So if we try again now, it should pop up, and there it is. So that's very important. Remember that. Very important. Ah! Weird face. So we got that, and then we also need our uh, variable to hold our timer, and I guess it's called my cool timer because you can't name it my timer which is the same as the class up here so we'll just call it my cool timer and there you go and start we need to click and drag this bad boy over real quick to text timer before we get to do that so all that's there I got a timer script down there okay good so now we need to get the component for this to work and all we're doing is saying timer text is get component come on mister get component component and uh, what component add text and that's all that's doing right there so all that code is saying is hey get this get this component and then update pretty simple uh, my timer is going to be counting down from we'll call it we'll, we can change this later but um we'll say it's 99 and then my timer minus equals the time dot tell the time and then let's just take a look real quick let's see what happens let's see what my timer is should always try to get a habit oops oh there you go That's because I didn't call it a float. And just clear that up a little bit. And what's happening now, man? Why is it like that? Just figuring out things, what's happening in the world. Variable value or method group was expected. Mm-hmm. 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 Minus equals time. I tell the time. You know why? Because I'm a ding dong. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that little hiccup.
that happens sometimes when you try to rush you should never rush anything and just print that out again do, 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 do. my cool timer now what happens let's see where we're at so it should have some weird value there you go see so there's a couple things we need to fix one is unless you want with the decimal point there um, we'll round it to a whole number and also it's not showing up on the screen so timer is just saying timer when it should be saying we want to say how much time we have so the first thing we do is we need to um, make it a string and then get rid of those a awful leftover change numbers whatever it's called timer text dot text and then we're gonna say um, what is it timer text dot to string let's see what happens with that what's happening timer text that's wrong because you know why you gotta go F0 which will get round the uh, leftovers come on man this is what the problem is I'm trying to go too fast you need to slow down otherwise you make mistakes like a ding dong so there you go and one interesting thing to note is we have the zero um, there's no decimal dot da 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 although we still get that down here so that can be a little uh, confusing that can throw you off but it also shows right here and that's a whole number and if you do want to change that this this is where we get that from is this F0 so if you put like four watch what happens four places see you say two two you get it so on and so forth and there you have your simple timer let's just change it back to zero and that's it pretty easy only what four lines of code five lines of code something like that boom and also because it's a public variable you can go into your mind uh, actually we don't even need that well, let's change this real quick change that to private and then because it's Michael timer as public you can just start it off at three or whatever three I'll start at three and of course it keeps counting and we'll fix that later but for now that's probably about it and uh, if you want to count up just change that to a plus sign and it'll count up from three so there you go up up and away that's it guys I hope they helped you out um, please do leave a comment if you need help smash on the thumbs up button if you feel like it and um, stop by say hello you can follow me on Twitter at unity 3d news check out the unity unity any game dev podcast my podcast go listen to that um, all the links will be below um, check out the blog u 3 newscom and uh, any questions need help uh, I always try to help out when I can um, it may not be right away but I'll try to log on uh, to YouTube more often to answer you guys' questions. And thanks for all the new followers. It's awesome. You guys rock. We're almost to 300, which is crazy. I never thought that would happen. So thank you all very much. I do appreciate it. And um, happy coding. Catch you next time.